or right guys here playing Darius top lane on today's video we're playing Darius this time versus a Skarnor top lane and for the runes we now have Conquer we got Triumph Alacrity Last Stand Nimbus Cloak and then we also run Celerity now this game we're going to be playing with the meta build for Darius so we're going to go into uh, Trinity Stridebreaker we also play against the new Skarner rework and I just come to realize the last couple of days that Skarner is extremely OP. Lots of people say that he's not a top laner, but there's a new build that has been developed by everybody where you just go Arcing Comet and then you just go D-Ring and then you spam W. It's kind of crazy. This champ is so strong right now. But yeah, Darius, I think that Darius is a solid pick into Skarner. I've also ran, uh, I'm also running D-Shield for a reason, as you can see. Okay. I think that Dorn Shield is the way to go against Skarner for sure, since he pokes like so much now. Yeah, his poke is crazy OP, but that's really all he has. So she can also like kill you under tower. He can do that too. Nice spacing. Hmm. Okay, he had to flash that. Smart one. If he didn't flash that, he would have lost it. Hmm, wait a second. Ooh. He dodged my Q around. I still have the flash. He, uh, he actually went through the flash. I'll just bait him. You press E right here. If I can somehow make him press E, then he's already dead. But yeah, you can see how OP this thing is, man. You can see it. I hit him. I'll hit the knockoff. There you go. There's a reason why I played it like that. If I hit my E, I can cancel like one auto attack. I have no mana anymore. Uh, we got a bit of trouble. We have no mana, no HP, and Skarner has teleport, so my lane is looking terrible. I'm surprised, man. The Skarner rework is even beating Darius early game. Like, who expected that one? Of course, he, like, he managed to outplay my Q by flashing it. But I am surprised that he's able to manage against me. This is how strong Skarner is. Impressive. The first person that says that Skarner is not strong in top lane, you're joking. <laughs> you're absolutely joking. <laughs> Alright. Um, first things first, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go directly into this one. And then also pick up that one. Let's run back. Um, when you play Darius into a very hard matchup, you typically go Steel Caps. But since, you know, Skarner is, is no longer auto attack based, uh, this champion is completely based off of poking. So, Steel Caps is not the way to go. Um, if you want an easier time to Skarner, I would recommend Mercs. But we're gonna go Longsword Ruby Crystal first. That's the first option. Skarner fortunately made a terrible mistake. Okay, so it seems like he's rotating now. Nice push. Uh, we will find Tuscarner back in top lane. He will probably E through the wall here. Probably through the terrain. And resetting is not optimal. He's actually teleporting, apparently. So he didn't actually back at the end. Okay. What's he got? Place one here. That's a long road, by the way. Impressive. I'll keep going. Stax has been applied. I will win this. Goodbye. I'm Darius. You don't win. One more for the chopping block. Yeah, Skarner played very aggressive like that. Probably because... The Amumu was nearby, and he felt like he could 1v2 it. I suppose that's probably the reason why Skarner moved up there. 
probably has to be. I don't know. Uh, let's go into Merc straight away. So, uh, I was planning on not uh, rushing Mercs and then just go Trinity. But seeing how Skarner functions, I just have to build this item. I have no other choice. Fortunately, if you look at builds and stuff, he's actually running Lucidity Boots, so he can spam his abilities more. But uh, the disadvantage is that he doesn't have his item. A thousand more years of so he's actually very weak in terms of an actual 1v1. I will definitely win the 1v1. Even harder now. I also have D-Shield, so I'm just healing back the poke, fortunately. He's doing a lot less damage now because of Mercs. Mercs is doing a great job here, actually. We have Hackerim topside, so if we can maintain this position the way it is now, uh, we can make it very gankable for Hackerim. I'll just ping once so that my Hackerim knows what's up here. Ooh, lost my cannon. The most crazy, this is the most crazy poke I have ever seen on the champion. Okay. That one. So you see, like, Skarner is incredibly OP if it comes down to poking and all inning, but Darius has stronger all in than Skarner does. So while he wins the very first start, with the amount of CC, Darius is actually better here. And of course, we also have a little bit of a lead, right? That definitely helps along with it. I'm not going to go for the for the tower, by the way. I refuse to go for tower. Because if I go for tower, he will come back and stop my backboard. It's not worth it for me. Uh, let's go into just one potion and that will do great. Let's go back. Yeah, so I actually just got in a question from you guys, to, like whether um, Jax is a counter to Skarner. While I do think that Jax is a potential like uh, good pick into Skarner, Skarner is no longer auto attack based, and if you actually go in with Jax, your counter strike, you know, it, it blocks a lot, but. The Skarner is poking. It's, it's not the same anymore. I think that Darius is a solid pick. It's just the early game you're going to get wrecked by the, the amount of poke, but that will change over time. This is great. I still had a good feeling about this uh, about this matchup. Again, he's still winning in terms of poke. It's actually crazy how much he can do. Yeah, it's going to do that. Okay. I still win. See what I'm talking about? There you go. I still win the 1v1. No matter how hard he tries. Even without ult, I still win. So that's great. He doesn't get to win it. Push this out. And there you go. For one time, I'm going to overextend and just go take a plate. Because I don't think that Skarner gets to push and everything. I might be wrong though. Yes, I'm actually very wrong. He's pushing way faster than I thought. So we gotta be a little careful about how we spend the mana. That's really it. We, we, we are actually very... Well, I wouldn't say very weak, but... We could certainly have been strong if we buy items. But, um... Let's see. Okay. Sidestep. We gotta find out a way to reset and buy item. Because if we can come back with a new item, we will actually wreck him very hard again. Still get hit by the poke, actually. 
Yeah, it's crazy how strong the new Skarner is. I can buy Trinity now? Uh, okay, I'll stay around. It's gonna be risky because he can stack the CC on me now. I hope he doesn't realize it. Got it. Okay, I'll take my chance here. Yeah, I'll take the reset anyways. There's a reason, guys. If you take that reset, then you buy Trinity and you come back, you will never lose the 1v1 ever again because Trinity is just that strong. If you if you can buy this thing, it's a completely different world. And if I stay low HP like that, some at some point, someone is going to walk top lane and wreck me, right? So it's better, like, sometimes you just have to accept that you're going to lose a wave and, you know, you just buy the Trinity and you come back. That's the way how you solve it. I have more items than him right now, so... The W range for Skarner is so massive that even my grab is just nowhere close. It's actually very impressive. Okay. I keep being surprised with the amount of, like, damage he can have. <laughs> the new Skarner rework is OP. Anyone says that Skarner rework is not OP, like, you're you're joking about the champion. Even now when I have Trinity, I s I'm, like, 5-0 and zero and I still don't get in range for Skarner. I still can't. His W range is far bigger than my E range. And it also slows on top of it. Got him. Alright, let's uh, push in the next wave. So we're going to start building into, into Stripe Breaker now. Stripe Breaker will counter Skarner for the rest of the game. Because I can slow him down. Let's grab the tower away. Nice. I think I might pick up one more wave too. Hold up a second. Okay, I'll walk away from it. So there is a chance where a Mumu could be top lane. Yeah, he actually is top lane. All right. Wait a second. So Mumu is here now. Let's walk back. Yeah, he's actually ganking my lane. 1.7k. I'll run. <laughs> Imagine if I hit the grab. Yeah, I guess we lose tower, or not. Still lost tower at the end. Hmm. I kind of doubt that Skarner will stay after just what happened. They actually didn't get the tower, so they waste all their time. I did lose all my some spells. After the wave, we definitely go back. We have a lot of gold, and if we can purchase the first half, we will have more clear as well. Let's go into this one. Nice. So, Tiamat on Darius is really nice, because you can uh, pop your Q, like, straight up... Um, under the wave and then you can proc Tiamat and then the whole wave will just completely push into the opponent and then what you can do afterwards is immediately go for um, more jungle camps. Are 
That's why like Stripe Breaker is so nice on Darius. Because, you know, besides like having the ability to chase your opponent down, having all the stats and stuff, uh, this, this build actually functions in a way where you can just push all the time. It's really simple. Again, I want to all in him, but I think he will run off, so I'm just going to hide in the brush. I might be lucky here. Okay. And then he gets off. Okay. I was about to press my R. Well, I was actually pressing R, but his flash made it out. There's a Kale with ult. So I wonder if we can do something with it. Got another one. Nice. Okay, back to here. We must escape this prison of peace. Shut down. Shut down goes away. Alright, man. I've got my Shrive Breaker within like 200. Could maybe try and like catch the Samurai because there's three people mid, one guy bot lane. Who knows, this guy might overextend. He's definitely alone because I saw where the other people were. I'll pop my W early. Oh, okay. Alright, so I had a good feel that my E was in range. Alright. I was definitely really close. I was, I'm pretty sure that was like in the box, but the box was just very small. Whatever, it's fine. Alright, man. Godlike. That felt way too close for my grab. No problem, it's okay. The shutdown unfortunately transferred to, to Samra. She's actually having Hubris this game. Hubris is not nice to play against, but only if she can actually use the item well. She's currently like inting. Let's see if that Arvalian Soul is going to show. No? Yeah? Okay, it does show. This guy is 5 and 0, by the way. I wonder if we can kill him. Oh, okay. We might. Maybe. Uh, never mind. So I was thinking about using Ghost and using the Nimbus Cloak to try and chase down, but I think he would just press the ability and just run anyways. The world will embrace chaos. So three people are top lane, I can see that on the map, like they're all top lane, at least three people. And since bot lane is getting pushed in far too much, I don't think anyone is bot lane anymore. <clears throat> we just have to like pay very close attention, see what the enemy team is going to show. Because I think that Samra is still not alone. Yep. No idea what that is. There's still a ward down here. I can't actually 1v1 the Skarner. Can't really do so. I can't 1v1 him, but he's very tanky. He will probably get away if I go all in. So it's the... Let's see if we can make a play. So, rather than staying stuck in top lane, trying to 1v1 a Skarner, which will never happen, I'd rather push it and then see if I can rotate mid lane and get kills like somewhere else. Yeah, this guy's definitely dead. Hmm. Thank you. Anywhere else? No. 
That's about all I could get. Okay, let's go back top lane. The next item I will definitely buy um, will be Steric Gauge. Now, Steric Gauge is really nice, although it gives 20% tenacity. We already have a lot of tenacity. We have Mercs, actually, but we can still go Steric Gauge because it's actually quite solid into the enemy team, and it's the meta build. It's what people are buying at the moment for several reasons. Mainly because uh, you get damage, you become very tanky, you have the tenacity, which is especially gra great in a game like this where they have a lot of just CC, right? Let's walk away here. Again, uh, we're seeing the support in bot lane. And I think we're certainly not alone. She actually got to tank it all. I am surprised, man. I am not joking. I knew I was getting into. I saw the Umumu down here. She was able to tank it. Feels bad, man. I just needed one W and Q. She has this outside range. And my jungle still gets it. Typically, like, if you run into a Samurai, you don't have that much trouble into a Samurai, usually. You can just, like, run a uh, uh, Deadman's Blade. And then she won't have any, you know, chances against you. But uh, with this build that we're running, we don't have armor in the build. It's mainly a build that works against CC. So it's slightly weaker into Samurai. Um, we're just gonna run mid first, and then from mid lane we run up to Dragon because... Uh, we can't prepare dragon at the moment. We've uh, we shouldn't have died basically then we could prepare dragon But now we have to run it. We'll stay in mid so we don't directly go jungle. I Want to stay in mid lane take the farm Let my teammates go Drake and then we adapt right? We keep the lane moving pretty much If you keep the mid lane moving all the time you'll create more space There you go, look. Now that's gonna push in, which means that we have more space around the jungle. Nice. That's a lot of CC. I can't ult anymore, unfortunately. Of course, she just runs across the wall, right? Mm. We did it. We knocked him over. Flashes across the wall, ease across the wall. This is definitely the most annoying rework I have ever seen in this game. I I have to admit, what, what's the cooldown on this thing even? Like two seconds? super annoying to play against it's not just a tank but like it actually just travels walls the entire time <laughs> with like two million movement speed okay <laughs> we, we got we got a talent 2.0 here <laughs> Alright. Um, anyways, uh, next item we're gonna go for. I, I'm thinking of going Sundered Sky, so again, not going Armor, but... Deadman's Blade is a really nice item to run up to them. Although, I think that I'm gonna go Sundered Sky anyways. Um, a Deadman's Blade is nice to start the fight, but if, if the fight starts, I'd rather have a Sundered Sky. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and build it. And then maybe like towards the end, we will probably go into a Deadman's Plate. Let's see where Skarn's gonna go. 
If Skarner shows, I'll chase him. Okay, he's actually... He's gonna walk through the wall again. Check it out. He's going to do it. Yeah, let's try. Goodbye, buddy. You shall not travel through walls today. Today is not that day that you will. But yeah, Darius is a solid pick into Skarner. Gotta admit, early game is kind of annoying. But things will improve. See, can we grab something else? Nope, no jungle camps to be found. Another one. Got Yumi attached to me all day. Let's go, man. 2.2k. No, I'm not gonna fall for it now. Uh, we could maybe make a fancy play right here. Everything got blocked. There goes our fancy play right here. Hmm. Oh, I was like flying in the air with my ult. I was flying in the air with my ultimate. I nearly got him too. I actually realized that every time this this guy survives the Sebron because he just like dashes through me and somehow lives. It's actually really close. Yeah, okay. The final item that I buy will probably be Deadman's Blade so I can run up to them faster. So I'll sell I'll sell Dorn Shield. I don't need Dorn Shield anymore. I'm just gonna go for more movement speed. Okay. Uh, before we go mid lane, we're gonna go bot lane first. We need to take out bot lane because Skarner is actually pushing it. Doesn't seem to show, so I'm assuming he's going to go Drake. Uh, definitely doing Drake. Not doing Drake? They're not doing Drake. What? Felt like he was going to show there, but he doesn't. Oh, this seems to be more people, so my jungler will have to steal it. No idea what that Skarner is thinking. Oh, he's gonna travel through walls again? Sure, be my guest. Ah, I couldn't ult it. It's probably wards down here, I would, I would think. I missed that one. I think he's probably up here. I was trying to stack it. <laughs> this is actually a very annoying game because it's it's actually how I die five times in a row. Literally it. I'm just getting kited down by Semra and then like everyone sh uh, jumps on me. Okay. I need 500. Probably Deadman's Blade is not going to do everything because obviously Deadman's Blade provides armor, not actually MR, but let me check here. Samurai does the most damage for sure. Skarner doesn't do any damage. This, these two also don't do any damage. I don't consider like a thousand damage to be a lot for a Mumu. Because he's also going tank. Okay, 
right, let's go again. Well, such a look at that wave. We're gonna go mid lane, and then hopefully we can start up a fight at Baron with the team together. Got my ghost available. I failed my grab. Close again, man. <laughs> I love how rarely in Solus is moving one direction and just holding the holding the ability down. <laughs> oh man, we got my dead man's blade. We, uh, we were CC'd for 4.40 seconds, and remember, we have Mercs, and we also have uh, Starx Gage for the Tenacity. Interesting, right? Imagine if I didn't have all of the Tenacity this game. Kale is not level 16 yet, this guy is still scaling. Okay, let's get next wave, and then we probably go to the side again. Because the dragon is spawning in, in like a minute, and we need to set it up. If they won't give up their power, I'll tear it out of them. <laughs> Kale has four items. No, I just Kale has five items and is not level 16 yet. Interesting. Okay, wait a second. Okay, they're showing now, so I can walk up. Seems like they're all around there. So, I hope that my teammates do not die here. If my teammates do not die right now, I'm actually going to be getting towers for free. That was fast. 2,500 damage by Amumu now. So he's actually getting damage from this build. Okay. I think that dragon's likely going soon. Well, let's see. So Kale is now level 16. They might actually win a team fight. Who knows? Oh, never mind. Akron cannot steal that now. He had no ultimate. He couldn't jump through the wall. I have a weird experience with Arbellion Soul players. I feel like every Arbellion Soul I see gets 20 kills in every game. <laughs> this game is no exception. He's not going to go for me. It's going to show over there. Well, we go back to the silence again. Honestly, the best uh, thing we can do in this game is just to split push. It's the best option we have. Oh, okay. We're getting ganked for sure.
Very good. My teammates can just move forward. Man, the CC is just crazy. I just cannot imagine a world without tenacity. With the scannery work. That my flash was buffed. I didn't press my flash. I pressed my flash during the CC. And the game thought like, okay, let's flash afterwards. That's like a that's a problem that's been in the game for a long time. It's not new. I can sell this, but Mercs is the most important, so I don't think I will. Nah, I'll keep it. I cannot play the game without movement speed right now. Let's buy another potion. This one's gonna reset soon. I cannot replace. Usually I replace my boots. This game I can't. Mercs is very important. Without Mercs, I can't play the game anymore. So I'll keep it. Oh, back to the sideline again. I cannot team fight with my team. Their team fighting is OP. Let's go. I'm an executioner. Next wave. They're probably gonna run bobbing. The most crazy CC I have ever seen in my life. Like the thing is, I want to split and like try and pressure the game, and I know that these enemy, I, I know that they're all moving bot lane, okay. But Skarner can travel through walls. Aurelian Soul can also travel through walls at like two million movement speed. They have two champions in the game that can fly through terrain or dash through terrain. So I can walk back. But then if I walk back, my teammates will get all in by them instead. So, like, it's it's an annoying game, dude. My teammates can't even push the game. Not even my ghost slash Nimbus cloak is enough to run out of them. How much HP does he even have? Like 7,000? 6,000? There you go. Oh, here we go again. Nothing else I can do. Okay. Uh, there's something we can try to do. Uh, I don't think that Kale is actually focusing well. Like, he's just supposed to here. Okay, he still does that. Never mind. Get a different idea. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, okay. I bet, like, he's gonna find out a way to get close to me. What if I walk around? The throne doesn't interest me. Putting an axe in it does. I think they will eventually uh, uh, move down here. Ah. 
So we just have to be very patient and see what the enemy team is exactly going to do. Because they're going to TP now. I'm going to move forward. If we can keep Aurelian Soul out of the team fight, I think that my teammates actually do stand the chance, I hope. Or they don't. No, my teammates actually lose this. Oh, he survived it again. I thought my ult was going to kill it. I can't do it. Let's push forward. I think that this might... Uh, we might have a chance here to finish the game. Maybe. Oh, but he did that. Okay. This is Darius top lane. Thank you so much for watching today's Darius video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.